In this video, I'm going to show you how to do an experiment to determine the caloric content of wax. Let's take a look at the materials we're going to use in order to do this experiment. Okay, so to do this experiment, we need a thermometer. We need an empty soda can. We're going to use a ring stand. I've got a portion of a bamboo skewer that I'm going to use, a tea candle, a graduated cylinder with 100 milliliters of water, and an electronic balance. I want to make sure the balance is zeroed. It's reading 0.0. .0. We'll put the empty soda can on the balance and we see that it is measuring 14.3 grams. The initial mass for the candle is 7.2 grams. Now the soda can is going to be used to hold uh, the water that we're going to heat as we burn the candle. So in the graduated cylinder, we have 100 milliliters of water. It is filled up to 100 milliliters, and I'll take a picture of that as well. Now we're gonna go ahead and pour the water from the graduated cylinder into the soda can. We want to adjust the height so that the can will be just a little higher than the candle that we're going to be burning. Before we can light our candle, we need to take a few more measurements. So I'm going to use uh, just a thermometer to measure the temperature of the water in the can. It looks like the temperature is 20.0 degrees. All right, so it was a temperature of 20.0 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and record that um, for the starting temperature of the water, the TI. All right, so now we're ready to light the candle. So as that wax is burning, there's energy being given off and that energy is transferring into the can, causing the water in the can to heat up. Okay, so right now the temperature of the water in the can is measuring 56.0 degrees. I'm going to continue to watch this for just a little bit longer. Okay, it's still going up a little bit. Oh. It looked like it actually was at a temperature of 56 5 degrees. And then we also need to get a mass measurement for our candle. Now we want to make sure that we don't spill any wax. Again, that's the reason why I was using the tea candle. Um, so I can move it at this point and be careful and make sure that I don't spill. If you're using a candle, um, you know, other than a tea candle, uh, I would blow out the candle, uh, let it cool off so you no longer have any liquid wax, and then transfer it to measure its mass. Let's turn on the balance. Just make sure it's properly zeroed and we'll measure the mass of our candle. Okay, the candle is now measuring 6.6, 6.5. .6, We'll record that as 6.6 .6 grams.
Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I hope you found the video helpful. If you would like to leave me a note or a question, please feel free to use the comment section below. And until next time, stay curious.